one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Christoph Dörnbecher. I present today a paper I've written with colleagues uh, from the Manchester Metropolitan University that uh, looks at what shapes industrial relations in foreign affiliates. Uh, the basic idea of this paper is that we uh, know from the literature a large number of papers that compare national uh, companies versus foreign affiliates. Um, but what we hardly find is that anybody's looking here at um, labor relations or industrial relations. And we did that with the case of Germany. When we look at uh, the state of the art on uh, industrial relations in foreign affiliates in Germany, we uh, found a very few quantitative study and a number of case studies. Uh, the quantitative studies that usually only ask, uh, uh, let's say, or have asked the, uh, the management side, um, their basic message is that there is an adaptation to the German industrial relations systems and foreign investors deal very pragmatically and little ideologically with the German model of industrial relations. We get a completely opposite view if we look at case studies that often have been made in problematic industries um, like um, retail uh, industry or fast food industry. And here we find a strong and enduring industrial relation conflicts described in this case study and a disregard of the German industrial relations system. So our research question were um, then, uh, what are typical qualities industrial relations can take on in foreign affiliates in Germany? And what shapes industrial relations quality in foreign affiliates in Germany? Well, we did an explorative and explanatory comparative case study uh, research uh, in which we looked at 21 cases and uh, with the help of 50 semi-structured interviews and um, a, a large number of um, secondary material. Um, our sampling criteria was that we were looking for polar values for a large number of uh, criteria like affiliate size, but also uh, affiliate staffing, um, the, the role and importance of affiliates um, in the multinational corporation, country of origin, uh, and so on. And for all but one case, we also had information both from the management side and for the labor side, which we think it's very important when you look at uh, industrial relations. Okay, as a concept, we developed from uh, the literature uh, what we call the, the conflict, the, the climate conflict matrix of a matrix of industrial relations and foreign affiliates. So here we looked at the longer, um, let's say, industrial relations climate um, and combined it with the actual level of industrial relations conflicts. And um, well, we got uh, four different qualities of industrial relations. Um, well, let me just describe two of those um, uh, of those uh, typical qualities: social partnership-based uh, industrial relations. That is, uh, a company or an exists in a foreign affiliate if there is a climate inher inherently characterized by trust, motivation, and cooperation. And when, um, let's say, um, uh, actual conflicts are rare or if they are existent, they are, uh, let's say, solved in a, a mutual uh, a way uh, with um, and not before uh, the labor court or arbitration committees. Strike is also relatively rare in uh, companies or in foreign affiliates that have a social partnership attitude. On the upper right side, we have adversarial um, 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 labor relations in foreign affiliate. Um, these are, um, well, here the, here the industrial relations climate is characterized by mistrust, control, discontent, apathy, or individualization, and uh, conflicts are frequent and have a severe impact on the labor side. And the regulation of these conflicts uh, is uh, typically um, in order to push interests. Um, industrial action is very uh, often and often, uh, let's say, these um, conflicts um, are regulated um, with court proceedings. So let's then move on to our findings. Um, well, 
uh, we have uh, findings on two levels. Uh, on the first hand, uh, well, while going into these uh, individual cases, um, we were looking at what kind of conflict triggers or conflict occasion do trigger industrial relation conflicts um, in foreign affiliates. Um, and here, um, well, we had uh, come up with five of these um, conflict occasions. Um, I will quickly um, go through. Um, well, one is that uh, a large number of um, MNCs, multinational corporations, headquarter and shareholder value affin countries came up with performance, high performance targets um, that uh, created conflict in the foreign affiliate. Then we had, um, well, MNC-wide standardization and centralization efforts that, of course, touched upon uh, industrial relations and labor. Um, so that also created conflict. Uh, international benchmarking, intra-firm competition, and um, cross-border relocation of business activity were uh, another reason for why conflicts occur in um, foreign affiliates, um, but also a disempowered local management and um, uh, that uh, also um, then ended up in slow decision making. Um, that was also a reason for why some conflicts really uh, popped up and uh, developed um, uh, dynamically. And last but not least, um, a lot of conflicts were also due to headquarters ignorance or lack of the knowledge of the particular German industrial relations system, which is very differentiated. All right. Um, then let's move on to uh, our findings. As I explained in the beginning, um, well, this is uh, exploratory research because uh, the field is not very well developed. So our idea with this paper was to develop a hypothesis or propositions um, that can serve the basis for later quantitative research. And when this is uh, in particular, when we look at what shapes industrial relations in foreign owned affiliates, and we had um, found effects in our, uh, let's say, uh, quant qualitative study uh, on three levels, on home and host country level, on the micro organizational level, and on the headquarters level. Um, again, let me shortly um, uh, indicate some of them here. So we found a host country effect. So. For instance, the German labor relations milieu encouraged a greater use of social and conflict partnerships compared to latent adversarial and adversarial industrial relation. But we also found a home country effect, um, namely that um, latent adversarial and adversarial industrial relations are to be found significantly more often in foreign affiliates in Germany that are owned by multinational corporations headquartered in liberal market economies, the UK and the US mostly. Uh, but something that is more newer to the literature is that we also could found um, micro organizational effects, um, namely that um, the affiliates role, um, uh, let's say as an affiliate role plays a, plays a role uh, whether um, um, industrial relations conflict occur or not. Um, or the, and the quality is good and bad. So foreign affiliates in Germany with enhanced functional roles exhibit a significant better quality of industrial relations than those with a less demanding functional role like a marketing satellite or um, a miniature, not a miniature replica, a, a rationalized manufacturer. Uh, then we also found um, the uh, affiliate strategic importance effect. So foreign affiliates in Germany with a strategic importance for the overall multinational corporation also exhibit a significant, significantly better quality of industrial relations. Last but not least, we also found headquarters uh, effect. Um, one is about um, headquarters um, industrial relations knowledge. Um, so latent adversarial and adversarial industrial relations are to be found significantly more often in multinational corporations where headquarters were, have very limited knowledge uh, about the German model of industrial relations. And our last proposition here is that, um, well, this is exacerbated uh, in cases where headquarters pursue a centralized control over the industrial relations system of affiliates. So this, in a nutshell, is uh, what this exploratory paper brought about. Uh, the next step is uh, on the basis of these propositions to run, um, let's say, uh, a, a, a 
a qualitative study, uh, maybe a questionnaire study that both uh, looks um, at uh, these um, propositions, both and ask both uh, the management and the labor side. Thank you.